Revision Zero, along with a bunch of other weapons, got a huge buff. Pulse Rifles got 20% damage buff, and stacking on top of that, the two round burst fire mode also got a 75% damage increase. This immediately puts the Revision Zero in the conversation for the best barrier breaker in Grandmaster Nightfalls due to it functioning as a primary ammo pulse or a high damage sniper rifle. To me, it feels like running Arbalist and a pulse with primary ammo. My typical go-tos for barrier champs are Arbalist or Wishender, so I'm gonna show you some numbers comparing those and Revision Zero. All these damage numbers are from inside a Grandmaster, the arms dealer, because there's a barrier champ right at the start. I made sure not to have any sort of buffs. First, we'll start with Arbalist. It's a special ammo, kinetic, and has a charge time because it's in a linear fusion. Its base body damage is 6,022. Base crit is 20,720, and it one-shots barrier shields. However, that's not all. Arbalist has disruption break and is buffed after breaking a shield. So the buffed crit damage with disruption break is 31,080. And the buffed body shots with disruption break is 9,032. Then we have Wish Ender, which is primary ammo, but it's a bow, so it has draw time. The base body shot is two ticks of damage for 6,786 plus 3,578 for 10,364 total. And then the base crit is 6,418 plus 6,786 plus 6,786, which is 19,990. This also one-shots most barrier shields. Then finally, we have Revision Zero. It's a primary pulse with two firing modes to pick from and a sniper shot. I'm really only looking at the two shot burst because that's what got the 75% damage buff, but I also checked out the four shot burst. It's just not as good. It's only good for getting more sniper shots off because it fills your targeting data faster with more crits. With the four shot burst, it takes 14 trigger pulls with all crits to get full targeting data. And with the two shot burst, it takes 24 trigger pulls to get the full targeting data. But the two shot burst is so much more damage that it's not worth using the four shot. So the two shot burst to the body does two ticks of 1872 for a total of 3,744. And two shot burst crit is 3,016 plus 3,016, which is 6,032. This can two shot barrier shields, but most of the time it's gonna take three shots if you're a little bit further away. When it is two shotting, it's potentially faster than Wish Ender and Arbalist, even in this mode, because there's no draw time or charge time, it's just pop up. Then we have the sniper shot that you can charge up and shoot four of these if you have full targeting data. And the sniper shot to the body is 27,735, and a sniper crit is 39,596 which is crazy, and it one-shots barriers. That's primary ammo shooting four sniper shots at 39,596 damage every 24 trigger pulls, which is basically every two and a half to three clips. So my takeaway from all this is that Revision Zero is the new king of barrier breakers because of the flexibility of use and its primary ammo. And it's super fast to break barrier shields due to no draw time or charge time. I was running it in the Mars Heist Battleground GM earlier and hitting 62,000 crits with the sniper. And that was without any surge mods. I'm really excited about using this weapon more. I really didn't like it at first before this patch. And now that it's hitting so hard, I am very interested in using it. I highly recommend you try this out. And just to talk rolls and weapon perks, to tell you what I'm using, I'm using Arrowhead Break, Light Mag, Vorpal, the Heavy Burst Fire for two shot high burst, Composite Stock, and Four Timer Refit. Thank you so much for stopping in and watching. Peace.